Yeah, hello, wonderful people. You know, I came across um, a prophetic video upload that was done way back 2019 concerning the late president, John Magufuli. God said we must pray for the president of Tanzania, Magufuli. We must pray for him because the Holy Spirit was telling me that the NM wants to engineer setback in his life, in his career, and a threat against his personal life because of his crusade of humility and his crusade against the corruption. That's what the Holy Spirit was telling me. You know, I saw in a vision, he was seated on a chair and uh, there were these fierce looking men who were, who were thrown out arrows, you know arrows, we had thrown out arrows, all aimed at him. I was asking God, what does this vision mean? The Holy Spirit was saying, this Mark Fuli, he has got a lot of enemies now. And because he's against uh, corruption, he's against anything which causes the majority of the people to suffer. The, he, he has attracted a lot of powerful enemies who are plotting his downfall and even physical harm, if that were to be possible. So I encourage my brothers and sisters in Tanzania to pray for Makufuli, to pray for, for President Makufuli. They should pray for him. They should not wait for calamity to occur on him. They should intercede for him. In actual fact, I encourage my brothers and sisters in Tanzania to actually fast for Makufuli for five days to fast for him for five days. Hallelujah. This is the message that God sought me. I saw in the realms of the spirit, he was seated, relaxed on a chair. You know these chairs which they sit on as presidents. He was relaxed. He was not even aware of the threat against him. He was just relaxed on a chair. And there were these fierce looking men who were pointing arrows ready to shoot at the same time against him. So there are those who are plotting his downfall and even physical harm, if that were possible, against him. So we thank you, Lord. You see that? Let me tell you. I am not a religious person. That is a trap. I'm not that religious. I'm not emotional. And I don't argue that there are genuine men of God who God reveals thoughts to. And I believe also that traditionally our people have a way of communicating with their gods and God revealing to them what is to come. But what this my imagination is that after this prophecy was given 2019 about John Magofoli. They prayed to avert it. But yet, the man died. Yes, anyone can die. Yes, God might decide not to answer the prayers. Yes, but I kept asking myself, does it mean that God allows or permits African leaders that are genuine to die, on, uh, um, you know, suddenly, just like that, mysteriously, if I can put it that way, or allow wicked manipulators, the powers that be in the high places, the kingdom of darkness, to bring Africa to the point of, of misery. Is it the kind of God Europeans introduced to Africa or Arabians introduced to Africa in the name of Christianity and Muslim? It seems these gods are not really answering African prayer. Maybe Africans to start praying to the same God in their own way. I believe it is just one God. Don't get it twisted. I believe it is just one God, the creator of heaven and earth. But I think Africans should start assessing their God their own way. They should start assessing God and praying to God in their own way. 
And first of all, we must humble ourselves and turn away from our wicked ways so that some of our prayers will be answered. It's unfortunate that after revealing this kind of prophecy and after this prayer, two years down the line, the man died. We all know the whole thing behind it. He made a lot of enemies, just as it was revealed from the prophecy. Who would not make a, an enemy? Even we, if we tell you the kind of enemies that are surrounding us, because we are speaking the truth. But let me tell you, of no go, Kaiji Aje. On the Zoko we speak the truth to authorities. Our immune is supernatural. Our immunity is supernatural. The truth that sets free, that is what we speak on this platform without apology. What if And that is why we will continue hammering on it until African people start understanding this message and start acting upon them. Please. I'm just saying it from my from my own I could be wrong but the truth of the matter is that why will it happen why would God always allow the good African leaders to die early and allow Africans to continue suffering in the hands of their suppressors who sold them as slaves who colonized them who continues to suppress them and exploit them up to today why that is the question. Whoever have the answer, please drop it on the comment section. We want to know. Is it that the God of Africa is quite different from the God of Europeans and the God of Africa is angry with Africans? I don't know. I just can't get it. But I believe there is one true God. And Africans need to assess they are God. Their own way. In their language, perhaps. When you pray, pray with your own tongue. Hmm? Anyway, it's unfortunate. And this could be the last video I'll be making in memory of a role model, a legend, an African leader, John Magufuli. I salute you. We'll miss you. Africa, we'll miss you. Rest in peace, our dear leader. I'm signing out. Share this video. Let us continue in this discussion. Let me have your thoughts. Drop your comments. If you are new on this platform, welcome on board. This is a family. We are truth. Is our watchword. We are truth. Is our language. Subscribe. Hit on the bell for notification. Follow us on our social media platforms. And also you can download our app from Play Store. Don't forget to visit our website for news update, bbi1.com. Just stay connected to this voice. Stay safe.